Hey water signs, welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the Pure, the Black, and the Magic. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. We're going to go ahead and hop right into it. This is your weekly update, weekly message for my water signs. Um, so wherever you have that in your chart, this is for you, okay? Cross watchers are also welcome. This is the Divine Doors deck, okay? So we'll be seeing what sort of Divine Doors are opening up for you this week. Um, anything that you need to know, extra messages, opportunities you need to take um, advantage of, okay? All right, so y'all got a lot to say this week. I am open for private readings, you guys. So if you do like the vibe, go ahead and see the description box below in regards to booking a private session with me, okay? Um, so yeah, so we have Distant Dream. This is the first card. It says, the distance... Cause your heart to roam free as you dare dream it, so must it be. Somebody else had this card. Um, I'm not sure which element. It might have been the fire signs, okay? So distant dream. I feel like you guys have the ability to um, call in something to your life this week or something you've been dreaming of. I feel like something's closer than what it seems, okay? So something you've been wanting, desiring is much closer to you achieving or getting it or it, com it coming, excuse me, into your life, okay? Then we have walkabout. You discover your path and sacred walkabout. The trees are your people. The earth is your tribe. The indigenous lessons you find of the will to survive. So um, getting out into nature, going for a walk. I kind of feel like you guys going somewhere new, doing something new, socializing with new people. Um, that's going to bring in whatever this dream, this want, this desire is for you. So possibly if you have just moved, walking around your neighborhood, um, going to a new restaurant or something like that, switching up your routine is going to help bring in this dream for you, okay? Next is the art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight, okay? Being your true self, being bold, making new choices, again, new decisions, okay? You're going to be mastering how to, um, I want to say how to manifest. And for a while, this whole month has been about you guys kind of bringing into fruition something you really want. So I feel like you're mastering that this week. You are... Something you've been trying to call into your life or manifest, I feel like you're going to see the, the results of it this week and you're finally going to get it. Something's going to click in regards to what you need to do going forward to keep building this momentum, this energy, okay? Crazy enough, the next card is 1111. It says numbers and doubles, synchronicity in two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you to pass this card on, 1111. So again, making a wish. I feel like there's something you guys um, have been wanting for a while. You might have made an actual wish. Tried to do some sort of moon magic, you know, um, positive light magic, a dream or something. Something's happening for you, okay? You've mastered it. You figured it out. Um, you've won something you're achieving. Then it says a stranger's grace. Ego fears the sudden danger, but never underestimate the kindness of a loving stranger. So I feel like, again, you guys getting out into nature, new things, new places, new people, restaurants, switching up um, your way home or something like that. Stepping out of your comfort zone. There's somebody new that's coming in for you. Um, and this could be a friendship, business opportunity, love, whatever it is. But I feel like it's something you've been really wanting, whether you are aware um, that this is what you want right now or you're not going to realize it until it happens. OK, then it says nomad. The, the nomadic wanderer lies deep inside. So take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. OK, so don't. um don't shoot off like any strangers or, or new people who are trying to just kind of start small talk with you, um, start a conversation. This could be at a coffee shop, okay? Fulfillment and wishes is what I see here and the waiting game. So there's a need for you guys to not block this blessing. Um, it can be coming from someone you don't know, something very new. You could be a little cautious. Um, it's crazy because I didn't even mean to pick up that deck. I meant to pick up the energy deck um but walk about okay so just put yourself in a position um to be around new people this week because i feel like that's very beneficial all right what messages do we have for my water signs okay 
Be careful you're not self-deceiving or talking yourself out of an opportunity. You might feel like you're not ready for it or you don't deserve it, okay? But I feel like it's going to be very um, lucrative for you. Something dealing with money or business. What do we have for my water signs? Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Spirit. Any messages that are meant to be revealed? The more you guys interact with the content, with the channel, you like it, you share it, um, you comment it, the more it puts your energy into these readings. So go ahead and interact, comment. I don't bite, okay? I will comment back. Ooh, okay. So we have the world card popped out here first. Um, I feel like you're seeing the world a lot differently. Yourself, a relationship, something a lot differently. You're realizing you have more power than you thought you did to change a situation. And I feel like that change is coming in. Guess what it is coming in? Next, we have the door to value. Okay, so this is going to be, again, you're unlocking something. You're unlocking the door to value here. This is actual money. Something's going to make your lifestyle go to the next level. Okay, something mental, maybe some sort of information, an idea, invention, clarity. You're unlocking something that's going to be very valuable to you. And then the temple path, this is meant to be. It's putting you on your right path, okay? Or you are on your right path if you needed confirmation in regards to something. If you're making the right decision, um, if you're doing something right, the answer is yes, okay? You guys are just unlocking something. And I keep hearing unlocking an actual door or a concept or something you're unlocking, okay? Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we have walking away. So whatever new door of value that you're unlocking is going to require you to walk away from something else. Um, but I don't feel like you guys are having an issue with walking away from whatever this is, okay? Behind walking away, we have broken heart and then we have community, okay? Um, so yeah, maybe, I don't know, there's been some sort of loss here. This broken heart is actually mended. So maybe you're healing from something, you're giving, getting over a relationship or a loss or a disappointment, something that's been weighing very heavily on your heart. Um, and you're moving into a much more vibrant, high vibrational type of energy. What's after this temple path? So it would have been the fifth chakra and it would have been the door to spirit, okay? So you're receiving some sort of message, okay? Something or someone is coming in um, and here's another door that's opening up for you, okay? Being aligned with your spiritual path, your purpose in life here. The door to spirit opportunities are wide open for you guys, but be careful that you are not blocking it or... Again, socialize with people, talk to new people, because that's going to be what's coming in for you. It's definitely going to lead to something great, okay? So let's see what the um, the Spellcasters deck has to say. We do have the World card at the bottom of the deck. So now you guys have the World twice here, okay? Energy, heavy en emphasis on the Wheel of Fortune, something going in your favor, a cycle closing out. You've mastered something. Now you're ready to move to the next level in regards to something, Okay. So let's shuffle. Let's see what messages we have for my water signs. Ace of Cups. It could be love for some of you guys or something that's going to make you very happy. Okay. Emotionally content. Six of Cups. Okay. So this could be tied to your past. Um, childhood. A childhood friend. Um, or something you've just wanted ever since you were younger or for a long time is what I'm getting here. Something that you have... Um, you have fond memories of or you daydream about. Let's see, spirit. What do we have for my water signs? That was the two of pentacles. And then I saw the ten of pentacles. Okay. Um, something dealing with finances, security, longevity, trying to make a choice. For some of you guys, it's in regards to a home. Okay. Um, or business. I feel like you've been trying to balance something, juggle something for a long time. And it's coming in for you. We got the star card. Okay. Star energy. This is healing energy. This is also a wish being granted for you guys. Page of Cups is next, okay? Um, and Aquarius could be significant or something's closing out that happened back in Aquarius season, okay? Um, and then we have the Six of Swords, hmm, okay? And then we have the, King, the Queen of Swords, excuse me, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles, Okay, so you're moving towards this door of value. It's the beginning of something, okay? So a small offer is going to start off small, but it's going to end grandly for you guys. Queen of Swords and a Queen of Pentacles, okay? I do feel as if um, whatever this is, is going to require you to be a lot more assertive, a lot more set in stone in regards to your boundaries with people and yourself. Um, getting in tune with what you want, what you don't want, what you will accept, what you want to accept. Um, 
because I feel like you're going to be in this queen of pentacles energy. A lot of money is coming in for you guys. I'm also feeling as if it might feel a little bit lonely. Okay, so I'm hearing this kind of lonely at the top. I don't know if this is a new position or whatever it is. You're going to feel like you're kind of alone or you're wanting to share this with someone okay this could be romantic or just in general but there's a reason that you're going through this phase by yourself right now okay so um it may feel lonely right now or lonely at the top but i feel like it's only temporary okay the hermit card what did i just say so the hermit card is the card of virgo you could have that highly aspected in your chart or be dealing with a virgo um or something's coming in virgo season around september for you guys as well but this is you going within to learn, to reflect, to shine the light on something. We talked about loneliness. The Virgo retreats from the world to go within and heal and get the information needed and um, whatever it is they need to do so they can come back out whole, come back out elevated, come back out much better than themselves. So this time is calling you to be alone right now because I feel like some sort of valuable opportunity or information um it's coming in and it's not meant for you to share with other people it's meant for you to get a hold of on it and excel okay what's behind the virgo that two of pentacles and then knight of cups okay hmm yeah somebody's definitely coming in with the love opportunity though okay then we have the seven of cups and we have the four of wands and the page of wands okay hearing good news definitely some sort of good news in regards to a connection or um a stable offer okay positive movement forward and waiting game let's see what comes out for my water signs temptation i feel the energy of distractions okay so if you feel like you need to be alone at this time you need to cut off like social media or just friends or what have you um do so because i feel like something there's an energy of distraction that's going to try to pull you out of this element so that you can't see who or what this is that's coming in for you okay so eliminate distractions here what other messages do we have for my water signs? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, write down your ideas, you guys. If you like dream of something or have a random thought or idea, write it down because I'm I'm feeling like I'm I'm losing my my train of thought or my memory here. Okay, so there's something that you need to write down so that you don't forget it. Okay, maybe you've been very forgetful lately, but something's going to be very beneficial to your future. Rest and rejuvenate. You have all the cards of taking a break, okay? Retreating from the world, retreating from people, needing to reflect on the situation, get your thoughts together, your plans, so, you, so that you can put it into action, okay? So that's you, triumph, and then what did I say? Then you come out on top, okay? So you need to rest or you need to heal or you need to preserve your energy for whatever is about to happen for you guys. And we have memories of love, okay? So it could be connected again to someone from your past, a situation from your past. Um, emphasis on the number six, that's significant for somebody, okay? And then we have the universe. This is all in alignment with the universe, okay? This is karmic energy. This is something happening for your betterment. Um, Libra energy as well. A Libra could be significant, but the universe is very determined. She is conspiring something for you, okay? So there's a need for you to retreat, take a rest. There's nothing else really for you to do but to work on yourself right now, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. If this is your message, please leave me a, a comment below. Let me know how. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. And I will see you next time.